From the front line in Indian Army to the frontiers in green energy, Colonel Rohit Dev has been a soldier, a senior leader. Today, he's the managing director of Revile Energy. He's also a senior leader at the Indian Federation of Green Energy. We'll hear him speak about the green energy revolution that's happening in India. How important is bioenergy for our energy independence? Mm -hmm. Bioenergy, by the word and by the implication, is a farm to factory connect. And the moment you have any ecosystem designed around the rural belt, uh, it becomes a very intrinsic part of your growth story. I think in that capacity with a population of about 1.85 billion by that time, uh, we are looking at bioenergy to contribute nearly 15 to 25% of the energy bouquet, which is more self-reliant. So bioenergy is one big pathway beyond solar, wind, hydro, geothermal. This is a pathway. What are some of the effective policies in play? Well, they're good policies. Uh -huh. So uh, coming up with, uh, say, the MNRE, Okay. and MOPNG and Agriculture Ministry as well. A lot of policies have come to force. So for example, there's a waste to you know, energy policy. There's a policy on densification, which is catering to uh, subsidies and uh, for your machinery basically, mm -hmm. for bricketing and pelleting. And then there's process on CBG as well. Talking about private sector, army, what are some of the lessons that you took from the battlefield right. to the boardroom today? See, the, the first interplay everywhere is, uh, you know, how to get a job done. Okay. And I will not say both sides are jobs because there is much no, more. Most of the mantras you read in business schools today, nearly 95% are learnings from militaries across the world. Mm -hmm.